Hello friends, welcome to MapQuest. Now in this channel, I'm going to start a brand new series on matrix space, which will be a proper combination of concepts and obviously problem solving. Okay. Now, unlike other videos, this one I'm going to do with a partner of mine, my partner in crime, my partner in everything, my bestest friend, Santan 2.0. Now, he doesn't generally come in front of other people or especially in front of camera but I'm going to bring him with a snap here he is hello Sandan 2.0 so I want to teach my viewers matrix this how do you think how should we do it together we'll lose we'll do that together too okay matrix space of our time so matrix space is a very important concept which is needed to be learned with utmost care. Now, before coming to matrix space, we should uh, revise what is space. Space is obviously not this one. Grammatically, I mean diction by dictionary, this is obviously space. But we are here interested about this type of spaces. What is this one? This is actually a Romanian manifold, a schematic diagram of that, we, and here it is being shown that how gravity arises. Now, if you want to know this kind of mathematical physics concepts or theoretical physics concept, you need to understand so many things of physics before studying mathematics or simultaneously with mathematics. So. I want to recommend you a channel on physics by my friend link is there in the description that the name of the channel is the name of the channel is let's explore physics it is by a very good friend of mine Tushar and he is a monster of physics you can say a very very intelligent guy university topper college topper now you guys can go and watch his videos he explains things really superb okay Let's come to the next topic of our study. Now, mathematical spaces. Spaces in mathematics means a set along with a function. Now, that function may be a binary operation. Those who already have uh, studied what a binary operation is, they know that binary operations are like addition, subtraction, multiplication, where we take two elements from a set on the set on which that operation is defined and from that set we take two elements and we operate them according to that rule that is operation like addition like from real number we can take two elements one and two and then we can add them so those operations which are oper being operated on two elements are known as binary operations so that binary operation also have some axioms to satisfy then we shall call that a specific type of space like vector space topological space now since people are studying matrix space in this video i can assume that they already have studied vector space and group theory okay now matrix spaces are a special kind of topological spaces okay this is a very important concept which is being studied in especially in topology okay now matrix space learners i believe have some idea of real analysis and complex analysis also so the analysis of real line or plane that is r2 or in general rn all of them can be generalized as the study of matrix spaces because all of them are actually matrix space so what is a metric before saying about metric space we have said about space now we are talking what we want to talk about the idea of a metric now what is a metric a metric we all know about the metric system of measurement right so metric by some sense means a measurement measurement of what a distance now we all know what distance is, but let me show you distance in some other aspect. Now let's visit distance from a different viewpoint. First of all, in our real line, we know if these are two points and let it be x and let it be y, so the distance between these two points, by simple common sense, we can say this is y minus x, right? Now, 
if we think it very very much carefully we can find out a very beautiful thing just imagine let there be a function which converts these two points into the this one that is into the distance between these two points now if I define d of x comma y and I say that this one is y minus x so what I shall get from here I shall get a particular real number let it be a okay and that will belong to set of real numbers now d is a function which is from r cross r because this x is from r y is also from r to r plus because this function is giving us distance that is why it is called distance function or from this point forward we shall call it metric okay this is not metric it is metric okay then this is what my distance function is and obviously what the output of the distance function that is in r plus because minimally it can be zero but it can never be negative have you ever seen negative distance nope now let me come forward to another function d dash and let it be from r2 cross r2 to r and how this function is being constructed d dash comma x y okay this one will be now let me give the introduction of x and y x is x1 comma x2 and y is y1 comma y2 so this one is nothing but normal euclidean distance that we talk about x1 minus y1 whole square plus x2 minus y2 whole square okay so these all functions are actually metric defined on different sets okay in this way so we can talk about another distance function which is from rn cross rn rn to r okay so these all are distance function or metric function now you have seen how the distance between two points in real line can be converted into a function named distance function or a metric okay now this distance function have has some pro properties right what are those properties let us explore the properties of this distance function let us find out about the properties of this distance function see let us take it from that one dimensional case this one from the properties of this mod function we know that is always greater than or equal to zero this is what we know obviously okay and another I showed one thing that d of x comma y is always d of y comma x like in case of r we can show that d of 5 comma 8 which is equal to 8 minus 5 is equal to 3 and again when it is d of 8 comma 5 then it is 5 minus 8 which is minus 3 which in, in turn become 3 so this is equal again similarly for all other cases that we have considered so distance function is symmetric this one is positivity and this one is symmetric oh one thing equality occurs equality can occur that is uh, y minus x equal to 0 if and only if x is equal to y okay then the last thing we can talk about this distance function which comes from this thing if this is a triangle and this is x this is y and this is z then we know uh, since it's a right angle triangle this one is hypotenuse the largest one so we know that distance between z and y this is the largest one this is less than d of x comma z plus d of x comma y okay now i can write it in a in a better way like d of z comma y 
less equal to d of z comma x plus d of x comma y okay so this is known as a triangle inequality which comes directly from the triangle right for this triangle also sum of any two sides is greater than the third one okay Now, this distance function can be generalized as a metric which satisfies those four properties. Okay. Now, this generalized distance function can be defined on a generalized set. In before also, I talked about distance between two points in real line. Then I said about the distance between two points in plane or R2 then I generalize that into Rn in the similar way we can talk about complex number C cross 2 C cross C that is C squared that is complex number uh, complex the set of complex number taken Cartesian product with itself and again we can talk about C to the power n and in this way we can generalize the set into an abstract set X now we move towards the next point of defining matrix space so definition of a matrix space we can say that three properties has to be satisfied by the distance function that is positiveness symmetry and triangle inequality oh i should not say it as a distance function i should say the metric that is defined on it actually Finally, when we talk about an abstract space, this is no more the distance function or anything. It is generalized distance function or the metric. And to be a metric, actually, they need to satisfy these three properties, okay? Like I have shown in the previous part. So, now we are talking about an abstract space or abstract set. abstract set abstract set means a generalized set which represents all the particular examples those i gave before also so an abstract set x i can say that i am defining a function d from x cross x to r see how the concept of uh, this uh, metric of distance function has been general has been being generalized in this thing see now it says if x and y belongs to this abstract set x then there are three properties first of all d of x comma y they should be greater or equal to zero this is the positiveness and the second one is symmetry d of x y is equal to d of y x ah oh, ha ha little thing here this equality occurs or d of x y equal to zero if and only if x equal to y and the last thing is that d of x comma y is less equal to d of x comma z plus d of z comma y this is the triangle inequality which i demonstrated before also now this set this x and a, this uh, function defined on that set if that function follows these three properties then together this pair x comma d will be called a metric space okay next it is about the pseudometric and in this case what happens there is a minute change in the positiveness and that's enough okay. so this one is metric defined on a space so together metric space okay now a little word about pseudo metric metric everything remains same for the definition of pseudo metric just a minute difference in here it says that d of x comma y is equal to zero if x equal to y but converse may or may not happen okay which means this one is right okay but if d of 
x y is equal to 0 this does not always imply that x is equal to y that means in some cases if x is not equal to y then also this thing can happen in pseudo matrix space so see difference between these two this is if and only if and this one is if so this is a very beautiful thing of metric space and we should study it with utmost care okay so that's it for first video of metric space i haven't talked about any example because i want you people to find out your own and in the next video i'm going to talk a lot about examples and then video next after next then i should talk about some other things and how these four these three axioms of metric space can be converted into some other axioms and then i should start the topological aspects of metric space and then completeness and all those things okay i hope you people have liked this video if you have liked it uh, please please uh, like the video please share among your friends and to subscribe it that gives me a lot of inspiration to do some more exciting stuff okay thanks a lot thanks for watching i hope you do well Ta -da.